Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our uh, videos and they were asking about positioning text in a call to action module. This is a call to action module here. And say they always have problems positioning the text exactly where they want it without somehow resizing the photo. Well, that's going to happen more text you put in there the deeper it's going to get the different the the photo is going to display differently in the background if that's the photo you're talking about or image you're talking about um, presumably not the little image you add so let's play with it and I'll hopefully can answer the question if I understand it so let's enable the visual builder and go down to where we want to work and let's get rid of this one Okay, well, I'm going to use this image as a background right here so we can see what's going on. I'm going to add a call to action module. There we go. Um, I'm not going to really edit anything. Let's have the button show up. So to do that, just need to put any link in the button link area here. I'll just put a hashtag in. There we go. And as you can see, the button's turned up. Mine's purple instead of the generic because I've set my custom buttons in the theme customizer here to be that color. If anybody's wondering why they're purple or not just outlined, which is the default. OK, so we've got a little block here. Call to action block. Let's add some images. So if we go back to the content, to the text. Um, we can add an image to the actual text itself by just adding media. And let's add a little image. There we go. If you want to left align it, you can do so by just selecting the image so you can see all the corners there. Wrap the text around it that way. If you want to put it on top and center align the text, hit the middle right there. So I guess we'll leave it on the left there. Now let's go down and put a background image too. So if we go down and go to background, you've got color, gradient, image, and video. I'm going to go for an image. And we'll put this, the image that we've got next door in there. Now let's just move this out of the way. At the moment, that image is sort of center center. It's showing the central part of this, which is the default setting. Let's put a color over the back just so we can see our text and everything a bit bit better. So let's go to color. I'm going to make that color black. And let's go to our image again. Roll down a little bit and let's mix them up. I'm going to blend it with that color. I'm going to say multiply. That's a little bit dark, so we simply go back to the color. I want it so we can see the image and read the text. So here's the color. I just need to take the opacity or see throughness down a little bit with this little slider here till we can see enough of the image but still read the text. Something like that. Okay. Well, you've got different options for positioning. I'm trying to work out the best way of showing you this without getting everything in the way. Let's just squeeze this up. So if we go back to our image and go down, at the moment it's set to cover the actual set the actual module we're in. So it's going to cover the whole background with the image there. You can change that to fit, and it'll actually fit the size of this image inside. If I show you, as you can see, it's put that image like that. If you want to make the thing really long, that image is going to fit if you make it the same height as this image here. And the other option is to have it the actual size of the image. That's a pretty big image. But that way, however much you expand it, it it's going to just show the size of the image. So until you get bigger than the actual image, it's not going to spill in. But for me, cover usually works best. So I'm going to put that back to cover. Now you can change it from being in the center here to all kind of thing top left top right bottom bottom so top left as you can see that's now the top left of the picture top right obviously 
will be the other side. Bottom center is going to show the bottom, this little bit right there, etc. Now, if we make that image bigger, if we go to our design, to our spacing, and give it padding, give it a huge amount of padding on the top. Uh, let's guess, we'll say 350 maybe, maybe a bit more than that. Yeah, it's 400 probably. Or even 425 let's try 450 yeah as you can see if we make it the same size as the image next door to it it's going to show that image the same way so let's just take that away and we'll put uh, 70 pixels all around So that's got padding all around of 70 pixels. Now to create more space between the title and the text, we can go up to our title text, title text right here, and increase the line height. Now that's gonna have the same effect if we go down too far as making this a little bit taller. And the more you drag it up, obviously, the taller it gets and there's the space between the title and the text now if you get to the end and it's still not enough for you just type in whatever value you want up here not quite sure if you're talking about this one this one doesn't seem to resize at all it is the size that it is now I'm wondering if we can go to the content and sort of drag it and make it bigger Move down to the body, drag one of the corners here. And you can increase it or decrease it in size that way. So that's another option if that's the image you were talking about. But I hope that explains to you the sort of various different options about positioning your text. Let's put this in the center. Let's just drag this a little bit bigger a little bit more there we go now we've got the full picture in the background there so just bear in mind when you put padding in line height anything it's going to make the module taller or fatter and it's going to change the amount of the image that you can see on the back there so i hope somewhere in there that's answered your question so if you've enjoyed that and found it useful please ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.